Uh, one second. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Zlata came back to steal from you. Oh my god, that would be so... Yeah, I have talent too. Uh, hello, Feda Sevi. I am not sure if you speak English, but I hope you do. Uh, this is an English stream, so please, please keep it in English. I would really appreciate it. I love how you say, okay, sorry, in caps, when the bot just tell you to not use caps, but that's okay. If, if, if it's only a little bit of caps, it's okay. Uh, and don't worry, Kagu. Uh, I cannot hurt myself. Like I cannot die because because muscle pain because of muscle pain. It it will be okay. Don't worry. Uh, Bruno won't make it through unless we dress that wound. We need bandages. Bruno is severely wounded. Has anyone got any food left? I have to eat something. Yes, there is food left. Uh, we don't want you to die. Oh, you don't. Oh wow, okay, that's a surprise. Uh, in general or for this game? Because 40 days in real life is nothing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, it's true, like wars take much longer than this, but you know. Um, no, no, you, you, you lay down, you lay down, my dude. Well, actually, I, I, I guess you cannot really lay down. Hey, I've got a proposition for you. Proposition? I saw Bruno cry in pain. He needs a doctor. This is such a long war. Hi there, neighbor. You aren't from around here, are you? I've come to tell you that there's an abandoned house nearby. The owners fled the city long ago when it was still possible. If you help me get inside, we might find something of value there. Uh, I am not sure. Does this count as stealing? I think that if I do it, people will get sad because we steal something. Abandoned house. Does this count as stealing? Hmm, I don't know. Is it it's not stealing? So I so I can't do it normally? I don't want to steal because people are depressed. If I if I steal anymore, people will leave. Okay. Okay, I will help him. Just one second, I will just um I will just uh, replenish these things. Will you help me? Yes, I will. Okay, that's interesting. Like, it's a house of someone, like, that someone will return after the war. But if it's not stealing, I'm, I'm all for it. Okay. Okay. I don't have any filters. Let's let's use another fuel. Uh, Bruno is badly hurt. I wanted to see how badly, but he wouldn't let me see. Um, weird. Weird girl. Yes. And let's end the day because they will be sad if you don't help. Okay, I... Well, I cannot leave Kalina alone because if if someone... If someone... <laughs> if someone comes to raid, then... Yeah. I, I have to stay guarding.
Anton brought back some seven tobacco. Whoa, okay, that's that's really good. Uh, these are per perilous times, yeah, I know, but yeah, I, I didn't want to. I'm really worried about our lack of food. I can hear my stomach crumbling. I'm so ill. Can you get me some meds? You need me. Anton is sick. I think he should go to see the doctor. Okay, I will I will bring him. Music is playing. Polish rock. We have a confirmation. Ah, it's too loud. We have a confirmation that the peacekeeping forces are indeed en route to Pogoren. We should expect ceasefire any day now. Yay, okay. Finally. International peacekeepers. Some classical music. Let's listen to classical music. Kick the chill out, I can't take the crying. Oh my god. You are worse than Snake. By the way, uh, are you alive, Snake? I didn't I didn't see your messages for a long time now. Nick is sleeping. Uh, act actually, yeah, actually, you're you're right. What time is it there? Well, it's not midnight. It's not midnight yet. Uh, wait, maybe it is. Like twelve plus nine. It's twenty-one. No, no, no. It's it's not midnight yet. It's not midnight. Yeah. Yeah, it's I I don't think he's sleeping yet. I don't think so at least. Okay. 6 a.m. here. Wow, you are from 12. You're from uh, the US then. Oh, he said so in Discord. Okay. I'm surprised he went to sleep so early, but if he's tired, even better. Even better. Yeah, he must be of the East Coast. 63 parts? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, okay, two alcohol. By the way, for for if you want to check my older, older streams, like for example the beginning of this playthrough, you can check my YouTube. It's linked in there. How much wood do I have? 63. Let's get some more wood. Really? Nothing? Okay. I should have gotten some bullets, I think. Hmm. Too many sleepless nights. Let's improve this. There is point. Just do it. The kid is still broken. And now she's even hungry. Okay, amazing. Please go finish this. Did I finish my sentence before? I don't think I did. If I didn't finish it, then what I meant to say is if you want to see the beginning of this playthrough, like how we reached this point in the game, there is my YouTube linked, and, and after the YouTube, there is also my Discord. And you can. Uh, you can catch up on there. Okay, go sleep. The 
first eight hours of this playthrough are on YouTube already. Plus some other things. I think some highlights from World of Tanks are on YouTube as well, but those are not in Czech, so uh, not not in English. And if you don't care about World of Tanks, which you should not care, then you shouldn't watch it anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Kalina, quit moping! I'm not! You're moping, like a moper. It's always the same conversation. Bruno doesn't know anything else to say. But it's funny nonetheless. Can't we just take Anton to the hospital? I don't think that's how it works, unfortunately. Really? Uh, we need to make fuel out of wood. Do it! Oh my god, stop stop moping! See, you, you talk about moping all the time, so then stop moping and do it. Okay, let's make alcohol. Because we are all dying of wounds and illnesses, so what we need is alcohol, exactly. Actually, we should be able to do something here now. Let's use another piece of fuel. And let's go to sleep, because we will check this tomorrow. Severely ill, severely wounded. Hmm. I have to, I have to go. I have to go with him there. Like there is no other option. I I really need. I really need the. Um, I really need the 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 bandages and well well for this guy the meds I can't do anything else but to give him meds I don't I cannot do anything stupid I'm almost dying oh here you are please can you please help me please you don't look well no I I'm sure I don't please help me okay We're gonna save as many as we can. Uh, I hope you'll save us. You should feel better soon. I hope so. I definitely hope so. Are you leaving? Yes, you are. You are just slow. Okay. <laughs> Day 42. Okay, we are really close to the end of the war. No luck tonight. No luck tonight. We have been raided. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Bruno is bleeding. It looks like he won't make it. Bruno was wounded. As always. He's lethally wounded. So hungry. Yep, it is time for Bruno. Finally. Oh my god. Stop it. It's... No, wait, wh why can't you talk? Why can't you walk? You are literally wounded, you shouldn't be able to walk. Oh my god. 
Like, the, the problem with this game is... No, stop. Come on. The problem with this game is... You can beat people when they cannot walk. However, like, he's literally wounded and he still can walk. So I cannot feed him. Like, I, I would love to be able to feed him so that he doesn't have to walk. But because he's able to walk, he has to wake up when he's literally wounded and get even worse. I would prefer if we could feed them, like, whenever they are severely wounded or worse. They must severely ill or worse. Like, I don't know. The girl have, has been broken for days now. Okay, is it working now? Is everything okay? Can you hear me? Are you there? Hello? 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 Okay, like for some reason my... My OBS disconnected completely. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Anyways. Oh, it should be fine now, for some reason. And it's gone. What? What is gone? What is gone? You're scaring me. Hello? Red? What is gone? Oh, uh, but... Tell me if you cannot hear me, okay? You can hear me right, I think. Everything is good, right? You you can hear, you can see the... You, you can see my mouse moving and so on. Right? Okay, okay. Okay, I'm glad. Hmm... How many filters do we have? We don't have any. How many water do we have? We don't have any. Nice. Okay, it should, it should be working now, so... It should be working now. Actually, I, I, I need only one. Please, Anton, do it. Yeah, for some reason my my computer, my streaming computer is disconnected completely. I have no idea why, but you know. Why are there double childs? I don't know. Oh God, he's so slow. He will take ages to, to go there. Hungry, lethally wounded, depressed. Sooner or later, the bandits will break through. What will they do to us then? I mean, they already almost killed Bruno, so you know, I don't think it can get much worse. Yay, we have one alcohol. We can drink if we want it. Please do this. Do we have fuel? We have one fuel. Wait, no, that was a filter. Wasn't it? No, this is a fuel, okay. This is a fuel. I should stop putting my hand in front of my mouth when I talk. Like, that's dumb for me. But I always do it anyways. You can do it, Anton. Oh, okay. Oh, pain. Pain. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, that's what I wa that's why I want you to rest. Please lie down. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, uh, welcome to the server, Dum Didi, uh, to the Discord server, I mean. And um, I recommend you going to. Oh, wait, it ended. The end of the war. Marco shared our food with a starving man. Marco died. Marco was killed while looking for supplies. Uh, you should pay attention to this. This is like the recap of the whole day of the whole game. Rebel investigation. Rebel soldiers asked us if our neighbor had stolen supplies from a humanitarian aid container. We lied to them and denied it. Tough decision. Pavel robbed someone, taking almost everything they had. And then he died. Karma. Pavel was killed while looking for supplies. Day 13. Buried alive. A shell hit a nearby tenement and some people were trapped under the rubble. Zlata helped pull them out. We robbed the hospital. The hospital was sh running short of medical supplies and yet Zlata stole the little they had. Oh my god, that sounds so terrible. Child's despair. It's heartbreaking to watch a child plunge into sorrow. It's an image you cannot forget. True. Neighbors in need. Our friendly neighbors came to ask us for help in reinforcing their shelter. We were happy to help them. Difficult choice. We robbed a man and his sick father. Zlata left us. Zlata abandoned our shelter and did not return. Day 42. Ceasefire. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Pogorem. Those who managed to survive the war in Grasnavia would never forget it. Okay. How the... how... How the story ends for Bruno. After the ceasefire, Bruno went looking for his friend. Her neighborhood witnessed heavy fighting. Like, if you remember, Bruno had a friend. He convinced uh, her, her, like the, the friend, that she should stay in the city. And unfortunately, then the war started. So he felt guilty that he didn't let her friend leave. After the ceasefire, Bruno went looking for his friend. Her neighborhood witnessed heavy fighting, and most of the houses had been reduced to ruins. She was nowhere to be found, and her former neighbors did not know what happened to her. Bruno never saw her again. Yep, as I was expecting. Kalina. Grozdan, uh, Kalina's brother, managed to reach their uncle's house, but there was no one there. He came, he came back for Kalina as soon as the ceasefire came into effect. With no adult guardians, they ended up in an orphanage. It was a sad childhood as they grew up, grew, grew up traumatized by the war, having only each other. They never went to Africa. Of course, child have uh, really big mental issues after when, when, when they have to live during the war. Anton. Anton managed to stay alive, but war scared him for life. He never again found the courage to, at to attach emotional emotionally to anyone and devoted himself entirely to the pursuit of abstract knowledge. <laughs> He's a mathematician, so yeah, uh, abstract knowledge. Um, Marco. For all his efforts, he was a firefighter. Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave. Maybe his wife and daughters will find it someday, on condition that they manage to survive the persecution themselves. Sadly, Pavel died. Will his family come back to Pogorin to visit his grave one day? Or would it be too painful, a reminder of what they had gone through? Do the dead even care? Zlata? Zlata left the shelter one night. She fell victim to human traffickers while trying to reach her brother in Canada. Well, Zlata ended up as a slave. Yay. That's a cheering end to, to the whole thing. Okay. Okay. And that's the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> what did you think? Mm, let let me know in the chat, please. Like, 
What did you think about the whole story of the different people? What do you think we could, ha we could have done differently to change the outcome? Let me know. And this, w this is what we will do on Monday. Still can't get over Marco, yep. My poor heart. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Red. What is this? Oh, by the this is the credit. So I will let it run while you, while you write. Uh, so, what is the plan? Uh, the plan is that on uh, on. Uh, First, no wait, Friday. On Friday there is another stream in English of this War of Mine. I will start a new playthrough of the base game with different characters, different uh, people, different uh, stories, different... maybe different shelter, we will see, like everything will be different. Uh, however, we will not... Your game looks different than mine. Yeah, of, of course, it's... Uh, uh, like it's very random and the characters are different. The Every, every playthrough is different. And on Friday we will we will not finish the we will not finish the playthrough because we we don't have time in in three or four hours to finish it. However, we on Monday on Monday we will start the stories, which is the first DLC, Father's Promise. It is a story about a I will I will turn it down a little bit. It is a story about a father that. Uh, and a daughter, a daughter, so you will see how it goes. I will not spoil anything, absolutely at all. So be here next Monday at 9 a.m. It's really worth it. I hope to see you here. And on Friday, uh, 9 a.m. as well, we will start a new playthrough. Uh, replay the ending. What is this? Is this the same we, we, we saw? On Friday we will start a new playthrough with different characters, different uh, location, different uh, shelter. You've survived, yep. I, I, I did. Okay, this is the same. Uh, okay. Uh, the final cut and the other thing. Yeah, you have only the base game, I guess. I have all the DLCs as well, so that, that's why it looks different. Uh, you have to buy the DLCs separately. See, this is like... Um, this is like the three DLCs that there are. Father's Promise, The Last Broadcast, and Fading Embers. Disable almost for best experience, yes. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what we will do. On Friday we will, we will start a new playthrough. And on Monday, be here for a new, for uh, the first DLC. Uh, 